Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kodai Spoto, Kodai Swiss, and I've got some Battlefield back coming into Vietnam gameplay for you guys. I'm going to do a little first impressions video, and then I'm going to talk about Battlefield 3, or pretty much anything Battlefield or PC related. Um, so anyways, let's get on with the first impression. So I got this expansion back about, uh, let's say, I want to say a day ago. Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, this is gameplay from yesterday also. Um, this is gameplay from when I got I actually used to the maps um, when you know I actually got pretty good. So uh, you're gonna see a lot of base raping in this uh, in this video because I actually you know knew kind of what I was doing. Um, of course I know what I'm doing now even more since it's day two of the game and I've been playing it pretty much non-stop because uh, this expansion pack is really really fun if you guys don't actually don't know what the vietnam expansion pack is it's actually uh just an expansion pack where it takes place in like vietnam and it's a it's a multiplayer only expansion pack for battlefield bad company 2 and it gives you like 15 new weapons i think uh i'm pretty sure it's 15 uh i'm not sure i you know i didn't really count but i'm pretty sure it's 15 and uh, they're pretty good weapons. They give you the AK-47, M16, uh, Uzi, um, Mac-11, which is actually actually a really good weapon. I just went like 80 and 20 today with the Mac-11, which was pretty cool. But I didn't get to record it, so too bad for me. Um, and then what else does it come with? It comes with the flame flamethrower, which really sucks. Has less range than a shotgun. It also comes with a new shotgun. Um, actually, it's the 870 combat, just like in uh, original Bad Company 2, but it looks a lot different. Um, what else does it come with? Uh, it comes with a few new snipers, Dragonov, which uh, is actually pretty good. People don't give it credit, but it's actually pretty good. Um, and then you get the M40, which is a really good sniper rifle. And then you get uh, the, M4 the M14. Hold on a minute. Okay, anyways, my mom just happened to hop into my room when I was doing my commentary like she always does. <sighs> Fuck my life. Anyways, uh, <laughs> what was I talking about? The M14, that's the last thing I said. And then, uh, they also added this new pistol, which is called, like, the TT1i, or I'm not sure what it's called, but it has, like, two T's in it. And, uh, it's a pretty good pistol. I, I really liked it. Why, like it. Liked it. I really, I really liked it. Like it. My god, am I fucking failing this much? I really like it. <laughs> um, and it fi fires really fast, and it, it has like a little square uh, iron sight, which is pretty cool to look at. And I really like it. Um, and then they added like four new maps, and I like every single map except one. Uh, they added this one really bad map. It has like a bunch of, I'm not sure what it's called, but. Uh, it has this like blue tint, blue like hue to it. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know what that means, but it has this like blueness to it. Every it looks like you're uh, staring through a blueberry's like skin. You know, it's really aggravating. Um, it's not that aggravating. It's not like game breaking or any, game breaking or anything, but I I don't like it too much. It's kind of weird. Um, and they have way too many helicopters and tanks in that map, so I don't like using it. I don't like uh, being on that map. It's very annoying, especially when uh, it's, you know, so huge, so big, and uh, there's not that many players sometimes. Like, the server that I was in, there's only 20 players, and that map just kept coming up, you know, after, like, this map. And uh, it kind of got annoying, so I, I don't really like it. Um, it's too big for me for my taste, but every other map is really awesome. There's a lot of action and it's really fun Like this map. This is one of my favorite map maps. Uh, there's also this other one Which I don't know what man. I should really like pull up a list or something I should have wrote this down so I wouldn't sound like a s such a retard um, but There's this other map and you know this other other map <laughs> and uh, the other three maps are really really good I really like them uh, but just this one map that's really really blue I don't like it it's really really bad um, I hate playing in it but who cares um, so what else should I talk about let's talk about uh, what I think of the game or what I think of the Vietnam expansion pack 
if I think it's fun or not. Well, uh, yeah, I think it's really fun. I think it's actually more fun than original game. Um, the colors are a little bit more saturated than the original game. Original game had a more like cartoony feel to, feel to it. This game has a more gritty uh, Far Cry 2 kind of feel to it. If you guys ever played Far Cry 2, you guys would know what I'm talking about. It has that really gr gritty, uh, you know, dirty feel to it. All the guns are dirty. Um, the environments are, are kind of saturated, just like in real life. Um, and it just has... I don't know, not so much color to it. I don't really like this, uh, to be honest. I mean, it does make it a little more realistic. Uh, you know, how all the characters are, their faces are all, all like dirty and stuff. It does make it a little more realistic, but I don't know. I don't like it for my taste. I have this HP LED, and I like a lot of colors in it because this thing uh, provides, like, really good uh, color reproduction. So I like a lot of color in my games, but whatever doesn't matter really um so yeah that's my first impressions of this game first impression of this game i really enjoy it really like it i play it all the time play it with my cousin uh he really enjoys this game he actually got me this game uh not this game the vietnam expansion back but i need to pay him back like 50 bucks so yeah next time i'm coming to his house i'm gonna pay him back and yeah so let's talk about a little bit Let's talk a little bit about Battlefield 3 since that game looks fucking awesome. <clears throat> so if you guys have, if you guys look at my videos or if you guys watch my videos, you guys know that I actually made a video about the new gameplay trailer or not really gameplay trailer, gameplay video. Uh, it's more of a extended kind of trailer, um, and it's more of a full gameplay than a trailer. I don't know how to really describe it. It's like a two minute little gameplay uh, segment of a mission in like Iraq and he gets out of an APC and I, you know, I talk about it and it's pretty cool. Um, it looks really very, very realistic. I don't like they actually like, you know, went with a realistic kind of approach to it. Uh, unlike Battlefield 2, which was very, very, very unrealistic. Uh, but I think Battlefield 3 is going to be realistic, even more realistic than this game. I'm not saying that this game is realistic. I mean, everybody takes like 500 shots, you know, what I'm talking about. But um, I'm just saying that I think the movements are going to be more realistic and uh, just the mechanics itself, like back in too. 2. Um, and uh, the colors, there are. it's not a very colorful game. It's more of a realistic kind of, you know, textured and lighting game. Um, you know, if you haven't seen that gameplay, um, you know, just go ahead and see it. It's really, really, really good. So, yeah, um, what else is on my mind? Have you guys played the new Crisis 2 demo? It's uh, really cool. Very fun. Um, the graphics are fucking amazing. I mean, uh, if you guys haven't played that game on the PC, if you guys only played it on the Xbox, or if you haven't played it at all, go ahead and download it. Uh, it's on Steam. It's a really good demo. Really fun. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, kind of run out of things to talk about at the end of my commentary. Um, I don't like when I do that, but what can I do? Anyways, thank you guys for watching my video. And go ahead and subscribe. Please like this video. Double tap like uh, so it gets registered. And, you know, that really helps me out. And thank you guys for watching. And peace out.